it's a nice group here. One thing I really want to say here in this area, I've I've fallen in love already here. It's so beautiful. It has sex here. I have been 10 years, 11 years in Thailand. I haven't experienced anything similar to that. Good morning and servus. This is Helmut from Banbo Klua in the mountains here of Northern Thailand. Happy to see you. And we are on the way here to explore this beautiful surrounding really to explore more here or to explore it a little bit better the cows and the fields and the green is really nice here the farmers are working it has a very nice vibe here and if I look at the pond star I don't see even dripping now so okay so let's go welcome to Ban Sapun and we are now on the way to the Sapun waterfall. And I'm asking myself if I would have, if I will have the courage to take a swim there. Because I guess it's really cold the water here. The air is cold. If the sun is outside, it's hot. I'm sweating, but beside that it's really cold here. Wow, this looks also like a Ah, that's why we were talking here at the North Wells down. Very nice resorts here, but he told me they are expensive. He even told me when he see a when they see Phalanx, they would just say three or five thousand baht. That sometimes is funny when you talk to locals, and they even tell you, ah, our folks will fuck you up in, with the prices in some way. But it looks nice here. I think I love it here very much with the, the rivers and how they make the, the resort. It looks awesome. That looks really like an eco-friendly tourist. That's really an idyllic place here in Thailand. It's awesome. I hope the camera can catch this groove here. It's just beautiful. It's a really, it's a beautiful feeling. I have like just goosebumps with that energy you can get here but like this place looks a little bit dead probably i guess they will probably would they would have liked to start pre-pandemic and then this place probably died or something Wow, I think we have a ride here at the waterfall. Hopefully it will be beautiful to take a swim. Of course, the water is a little bit brown, I guess. Yesterday all night long, it was really heavy raining. One thing I really want to say here in this area, I've, I've fallen in love already here. It's so beautiful. We are here actually, the Sapan, the waterfall is called Sapan waterfall and it's a village here. It looks beautiful, but it looks like a completely tourism village. I didn't switch on the camera, but when we when we will go out there, I will, I will show you it looks like resort, resort, resort. 
hardly to find a, a private house. In my opinion, you just, or at least it looks like every house, it is a resort. But not in a bad way, really in a nice way, like bamboo hats and huts, not hats, bamboo huts. <laughs> and looks beautiful, really. It fits nice here to the nature. So, I've never been here, just hope or guess that this will be the way to the waterfall. As far as I recognized, I'm the only one here. So the tourism doesn't look so strong at the moment, I guess. So maybe here, here you're here already, wow. It's a nice group here. I know there are maybe bigger waterfalls on earth, but what excites me so much is like I am alone in the middle of a jungle. And when you don't see anyone else and when you come to this here, it's idyllic. Here the river goes down. I cannot wait to take a swim there, but it looks frightening cold actually. Because it's also cold now. When I was at the salt well, I was sweating, it was a little bit sun and I felt so hot. But here now, I have goosebumps again, but it's because it's cold here. Even look at the tree in front of us. That's beautiful. Wow. But you also have to be careful here. It's wet and slippery. I'm wondering if this tree has been broken and if that trunk here, if that trunk is from that tree. I would be curious if it's like that. But no, there's some other tree it lays down there. Wow. But I don't know how to get down here. Like, to get down here would be probably a deadly trail, but it's possible. Just have a look first. That's epic. This is a route. Look how epic this tree looks like and the roots. Wow. Like, that are massive roots. That are really massive roots. That tree looks really epic. Wow. Here are a lot of gems. Wow, it's quite a long way. For sure it's worse. The only thing I frightened myself. I have the bag with my 
other camera on the motorbike because I actually thought where we park just 50 meters somewhere there will be the waterfall and I guess we now already probably a kilometer or more inside the jungle here wow that's epic here uh-huh that is how it looks like here that's really awesome jungle that is awesome jungle experience here so I just that is my thought that it's my thought that we will take a swim here that this will lead where we can take a swim because Thai people told me you can take a swim and but the first thing we have seen I doubt that average Thai people would say yeah you can swim there because I think even for Thai people that would be they would consider it too dangerous to go there I hope here I'm already a little bit hot now, so maybe it will not feel so cold anymore. Yes, now we are here. Wow! Look how epic this is here. How awesome. Look at this group. Wow. I'm pleased. Wow. Is that a look? I hope this is a look, man. An unbelievable feeling here to me. I mean, it depends if someone loves nature or not. But if you love nature, I think it has sex here. You believe it? I think even someone would steal my camera now and I think about it if it would be worse, worse just for this experience here. You see really I'm a little bit out of breath. I think yes that looks look at this. Also this here, man. I have been 10 years, 11 years in Thailand. I haven't experienced anything similar to that. Look at the stone with the moss. It's not a rolling stone. That's why it got us moss. And look over there. I think there we go to take a swim. The only recommendation I would give already now, if you consider come here, at least a week. Don't do it like me for one day. It's just too short to absorb the beauty of the nature here in one day. I would consider it impossible. So, 
Now we will go over there and take a swim. Do you think like you will switch off the camera and switch it on there? But it's just so epic going along here that you have to switch it on. And my fear is growing already a little bit more about cold because even the stones here, now like I'm barefoot, the stones already quite cold here. So, for sure, the water will be even cold, colder, or more cold, colder, colder. Wow! Look at this! I don't believe it. So, I have to put my bag off now. I still give you the view. I'll take my bag here. So anyway, I forgot to put a new battery in. So just as long as the camera may run, you are with me. Wow. I'll be back. No, really, I am back now. The battery was finished and surprisingly, still everything at my motorbike, like I said, I forgot it here. And that's why I really love this amazing Thailand. How many times I already have forgotten something somewhere. For hours, last time in the middle of the city of Chiang Mai, four and a half hours, my back in the middle of the street. No one has taken it. That's really amazing. And I am also completely done. I'm exhausted. I'm shaking. My knees were shaking always when I went down the stairs here. So we are done. I hope you enjoyed it so much, that much how I enjoyed it. Difficult even to talk to me now. Stay tuned and I'm really happy to see you the next time. Smash the thumbs up button and smack the, the subscribe button. But only if you also ring the bell. Instead, don't smack the subscribe button. See you in the next video and hope you have an amazing day. And wish you all the best. An epic view, it's just fog. But still nice in some way. We are here at 1715 meter. 
high up the mountain. 